Welcome back to Corporate Homesteader part number seven for our geodesic treehouse project. So the summer has been pretty busy. Um, you may remember the last part we finished the roof and uh, basically what has, what has happened since then is that I added some drip edge to the roof uh, and waterproofed that so that all the moisture uh, gets redirected away from the treehouse when it comes down the roof. So you can see that here. Um, then uh, we added some structural support uh, to the actual treehouse um, dome. Uh, I used to only have uh, like two by four support and now I added actually four by four beams on all 15 uh, touch points where the triangles are coming down. Uh, then I insulated, spray insulated uh, the gaps there because those are the areas that, where we won't have any windows. And then uh, I added caps, uh, drip edge caps to the to the four by six main joists that hold it all together, uh, making sure that those are not exposed to the elements uh, and last a long time. I also added um, that green paint at the e at the ends so that it's all nice and sealed. And the last thing I just did uh, this weekend was actually adding a drip edge on the octagon platform. Uh, so, uh, and filled up basically the, the areas between the treehouse, like the dome and the octagon edge with the drip edge with tar, like a, uh, one of those leaky roof sealants. And uh, here's the result. Now one thing I forgot to mention is that we actually built uh, and finished all the framing inside. So there will be a washroom, a uh, three-piece washroom, and there will be a second floor where the beds and the sleeping areas will go. And here you can see uh, the framing for that. Mm -hmm. 